Hey everybody, today I'm going to provide you with a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to change your spark plugs in a Mercury 60 horsepower outboard. And just to be safe since we're dealing with electricity here, we're going to make sure the engine is off, pull the key, and pull the kill switch. And for reference, make sure you always have your maintenance manual handy. So to access the spark plugs, we're going to remove the cowl and tilt the engine to one side. And as I do that, you can see that the spark plugs are here behind the ignition coils. And we're going to go ahead and take an 8mm wrench and just loosen those up and get them out of the way to better access the plugs. 8mm socket, four bolts. Make sure you're careful with these bolts. They're kind of long, but you obviously don't want them to go fall into the motor housing and you'll have to fish them out. So as you can see, by removing the ignition coils, we've got much better access to the spark plug boots. And again, there's only four of them, so we're gonna go ahead and remove those boots and pull the plugs. To remove each boot, all you need to do is take the boot, turn it slightly, and pull back. When removing the spark plug boots, make sure you do not use any sharp objects because a damaged spark plug boot can emit sparks that ignite fuel vapors under the engine cowl. So something I like to do is just start by individual ignition coil here, just so you don't get these boots crossed on the wrong plugs. It's safe to say that the top one on the ignition coil goes to the top plug and the bottom one goes to the bottom plug per ignition coil. But again, I like to start with just kind of one at a time to keep things streamlined. Okay, now we're gonna remove each individual plug and we're just gonna slide a 5 8 inch socket onto it and then just find it nice and snug. And you don't, have to, you don't have to push real hard, you don't have to torque real hard on them to get them started. And I'm gonna switch over to an extension so I can get my socket down in there a little bit, but then just use my hands. All right, here comes our first plug. And now that I have access to the boot and the plug, I'm gonna go ahead and inspect them. This spark plug is in good working condition, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to replace them anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and double check the model number on this plug and make sure that it's the same model number as the one that we picked up from the Marine store here. So before we put in our new spark plug, we gotta make sure that there's a proper gap between electrodes. And when we consult the maintenance manual, it says that there's a one millimeter gap. So we can use a spark plug gap tool to measure the gap between electrodes. And it says we wanna be around one millimeter. So I'm gonna use this tool to bend out the top electrode without damaging the bottom electrode. So we'll just slowly pry up. And we're sitting at about one millimeter. So this spark plug is ready to be installed. You know, whether you're putting an old spark plug in or replacing a new one like we are here, you wanna make sure that there's no debris or dirt or dust on the spark plug or the spark plug seat itself. Important thing to note when installing spark plugs is that you want to start them finger tight and get them down and snug finger tight. You don't want to put it on a socket and start wrenching on it in case you're cross threading the threads on the spark plug. So we're just going to go ahead and put this down finger tight, maybe get an extension in there if we need it without the wrench. Now that we have our spark plug tightened down finger tight, we're going to grab a torque wrench and we consult the maintenance manual. It says that we want this spark plug seated down at 20 foot pounds. Okay, now we have our 5 8 inch socket on our torque wrench. We're gonna go ahead and put it on our spark plug that we know is seated down hand tight. And now we'll torque it down to that specified torque. So we're using the torque wrench here, getting her tight. And we're just gonna feel for it to break. And that's when we know we're at 20 foot pounds. There it is. Okay, I went ahead and replaced the three other spark plugs. And make sure when you're doing this that you line up the right spark plug boot to the right spark plug. Just remember that as you're going along. And so with that, we've got a fresh set of four new spark plugs in this engine. We're gonna put the cowl on and she's ready for another season.